Hello and welcome to the Project Tool tutorial. Today we will learn about Virtual Keyboard, which can be used to enter or edit string variable values to the runtime. For the project we will use Project Tool in version 1.12. Let us create a sample of simple user login using Virtual Keyboard. Create first a project with default values. our sample we will need two pages so please add one more page here this will be a page the user should be forwarded to in case of successful login I will keep it rather simple. Now select the home page, drag and drop a frame here. We will need a string field to enter the value. And also a new variable to save this value. This variable should be of data type string. Now we can make the string field a little more nice. Reference it to the variable we created. another background color and use another font type for example this one we will use the full length of string And we'll place it in the middle of the frame. Now we will set the string as input. From this moment you will be able to edit the string with your encoder or select it with your touch field. To use the virtual keyboard we first need to add one. So we go into our project tree with a right click on virtual keyboards. Here we have a selection of layered keyboard, layered keyboard in portrait, or numeric keyboard. For our case, we will take layered keyboard. We can open it as a separate page, and it looks like this. It's a complex object containing string fields, multiple buttons. All these buttons have the predefined function. You can surely change all these buttons, for example, using another background image for them. You can change the colors, or you can change the font which you use here. Coming back to our home page, we select our string field. And now here, in section import configuration, you can change if you would like to change the value using the encoder or using the virtual keyboard we just created. Let us now test our project using simulation. I press on the field and automatically get to our virtual keyboard. 
I will first delete the value and then can enter my pass and press done if I'm ready. The value I entered you can see here in my field. Not to delete our preview value inside of Virtual Keyboard, we will need to initialize our logging variable with empty value. For this, I will need in JavaScript. So I go to a project tree, select JavaScript, right click, and create a new file. Here I only need to set this variable. To empty. I also need to save the script. And I will reference it to the event on project init. We will also need one more JavaScript to evaluate if the logging value our user entered is one of those we would like to see. So we'll create one more JavaScript. to check our logging data. Here we'll first create an array which will contain valid logins. Next, we will get the current value of our logging variable. And save it to the variable value. Now we only need to check if the string we get into this variable is one of those we saved into this array. For this, we'll need a loop And in this loop, we'll check each of these array values against this value. And if they are equal, we will switch to our second page, page one. For this, I need the predefined internal variable at project current page. Where I need to put the identifier of this page one, it is 32. If we check all these values and no of them is equal with our logging, we will do nothing, just set our logging value back to empty.
to save the script. And now reference the script to one of the events of our string field. We will take an event on enter value. Now save your project or let us try it in our simulation tool. Here I will select the string field and will be automatically forwarded to our virtual keyboard. I will now try the correct login. And press done. If you see, I'm now on our second page, while my login is OK. Let us now test a negative case. I'm back to my home page, select my string field, and enter not correct login and press done. I'm just coming back to our home page and have another opportunity to give my login again. Surely you can modify this validation as you like and make your login page much more customer friendly. You can also use numeric keyboard for numeric values. This keyboard by default looks like this and will be handled the same way as layered keyboard. Well, and that's it. Thank you for your attention and till the next time.